Hi friends, welcome to Tech Skill YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, so please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification of new video. Let's begin today's session. Today we are going to discuss about head and tail command in Unix. So for this, I have created two files. So one is cat hyphen n head underscore input dot txt. So as you can see, so this is the file and I have the data of all Indian states. And I created another file head underscore input underscore two dot txt. As you can see, I have written some course name. So these are the two file. So we will see how head and tail command is used for these two files. So head command, as the name suggests, it will read the top n lines from a file. The default behavior is to read the first 10 lines. So if I write head and if I give the file name that is head input dot txt. As you can see, so it has read the first 10 lines from a file. So this is my file. So from this file it read the first 10 lines. So this input file I have taken in another. So you can see the first 10 lines till Jammu Kashmir. So the data is read. So this is the default behavior. Let me clean, clean the screen. So if I want to read the first two lines of a file then you have to use the option hyphen n and give the number of lines that you want to read from a file using head command head hyphen n i have given here two that means i want to read the first two lines from a file and what is the file name here head underscore input dot txt so we are reading the first two lines from a file as you can see this is our input file so the first two line is Andhra Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh so even we can also read number of bytes from the file like if I write head hyphen c I am writing 4 and give the input file so you can see here so it it has read first four bytes from the file from the input file first four bytes a n d h so here also we got the same output using head command you can also read data from multiple files so here you can give the file name here input dot txt this is the first file and i am giving the next file head input underscore two dot txt So as you can see, it is displaying the file name. From the from this file, it has read first ten lines, and from this input file, it read the first ten lines. If you don't want this file name to be displayed, so you can use hyphen q option. So if I will use and q now see so it read the data from two files 
this is from first file and this is from second file but the file name is not displayed so this is all about head command next we will see tell command same way like head command tell command also use to print the last lines last 10 lines from a file if you don't give any option this is the default behavior we can see tell and give the input file my input file is head input dot txt so as you can see so it displayed the last 10 lines from a file so my input file is here so the last 10 lines it displayed okay so if you want to display last three lines from a file last hyphen n 3 tell hyphen n give the number of lines that you want to display from last and here my file name is head input dot txt so it displayed the last three lines from this file so here tell has another option like if you want to read the data from line number 25 so that also you can do so you need to write tell hyphen n plus i want to read the data from 25th line so tell hyphen n plus 25 and give the input file so it will re read all the lines from line number 25 so we can go and we can see our input file as you can see so this is the line number 25 so from telangana you will you will get all the lines of that input file so as you can see here this is the output so this option is not available in head command same way like head using tell hyphen c and give the number of bytes from a file So hyphen c and i have given seven so it will read the last seven bytes from a file so as you can see here and here it has considered one new line character so it will consider and so here we are getting the last seven bytes from a file l hyphen c then seven head underscore input dot txt same way if you want to read the data from byte number uh, let's say byte number 5 then you have to write hyphen c plus 5 so as you, as you can see here let me go to the input file so this is the fourth byte h is the fourth byte so r is the fifth byte so in the output we got the data from r same way like head also you can read the data from different files so tell and give the file name head input.txt this is my first file name and the next file is so it will read the last 10 lines from the first file and last 10 lines from the second file if you don't want the file name to be displayed then you can use hyphen q option so it will display 
the last 10 lines from each file without giving the file name. So there is one more option is there in tell command tell hyphen f and you give the log file name. So this is mainly used to read the logs from a from the log file. So whenever an application is writing the logs to the log file. So generally admin so they use this command to see the log the last it will display the last 10 lines of the log file and it will be adding the data to that log file every time it will display last 10 lines so but this command you have to stop it forcefully otherwise it will be running so this is all about head and tail command so when we will discuss interview questions so during that time we will discuss about application of head and tail command how we can use head and tail together and other command also using the pipe so thanks for watching this video so if you want to learn more about unix command so please subscribe the techskill youtube channel and hit the like button to get the notification stay tuned